Hey guys, my name is Cephas. Welcome back to Behind the Shot, episode number four. Uh, I'm with Red Vision, and today we'll be looking at a very exciting shoot I did recently. Uh, I'm returning to shoot, and uh, oh, where's my glass? Uh, hold up. All right. All right, guys. So welcome back. Welcome back to Behind the Shot, episode number four. My name is Cephas with Red Vision. Today, I'm excited about this shoot. So we are going behind the scenes on this maternity shoot I did uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Well, by the time you see this video, it would have been two days or three days or so. But I did it this past weekend. Oftentimes, when I do uh, these maternity shoots, I end up doing the newborn photos. Uh, the one year uh, birthday, the four months, six months, and all that I love shooting that uh, pregnant woman and then in a few months shooting the newborn and then getting a call on their one year birthday saying hey come take pictures of you know this boy or girl and me knowing that I was part of preparing for that child arrival so I'm going to jump right ahead and take you back uh, on this shoot now most of our shoot like I mentioned in my previous video are, are being done in the studio resources we have in the studio is are limited a lot of our orders, uh, our vendors who we order from are not working right now, so we have to manage for what we have. So Joy and I sat down quickly, we planned the shoot as we, as we always do, shot list, what kind of emotion we want to give, what kind of story we want to tell with these maternity pictures. Um, and when you see these pictures, you can really see the story, you see something regal. You see something um, very elegant. You see some playful. Um, I like to introduce that element of playfulness in the maternity pictures because um, that's what it is. It's, it's joy, it's excitement. Um, you're excited about your newborn and with your partner and things like that. So, although I've done some maternity shoots where it was just completely anyway, that's a different video. The goal of the shoot was just to tell that story uh, to take you on a journey. It's not Scott anymore, honey. Nice. He's three years old. Now I'm going to the first thing I do with all my shoots is to do some traditional poses. Right away the goal was to make it really dark and dramatic. Um, in photography, we call it uh, a low-key lighting. Low-key lighting basically means you have a lot of uh, shadows in the pictures. Um, where we're shooting, um, typically we shoot from the shadow side of the picture, light it, one light from either the right or left, and create some nice dramatic shadows. Um, these low-key pictures have more effects with touching emotions. Um, it kind of draws you in because there's no other distraction in the frame. It's just a couple. There's no other uh, highlighted things. The brightest thing in the picture is are the couples. Um, so the low key lighting is great to whenever I want to shoot an image that will allow my audience to be very involved 
with the emotion of what's going on in the picture, I go to low key lighting. Uh, the goal is strategically to shoot with very minimal light, so then to put the focus on the couple. And then after I do that by um, setting up my light, then I instruct my couple now to bring out that emotion. These pictures are very moody and dramatic, and I think most people are gonna gravitate towards these pictures because of the fact that it has emotions um, in these pictures. So when you look at my photographs, you go back, you will see there are always photos where you see people having genuine emotions. Unless if it's like a model, we're trying to do something really dramatic, then we don't, I don't do that as much. But I think my signature look now is when I do this session is towards the end to have these genuine emotions, something that when they see a little on, they will remember exactly what that moment was. When you look at a picture that you were laughing really hard in that picture, as soon as you look at that picture, you will remember exactly why you were laughing that day and might even laugh again. So that's the goal. The goal is to keep my clients emotionally involved with these pictures that when they look at it in the future, it's going to bring back that exact memory, that exact feeling they had on that day of the shoot. I do that for maternity, I do that for engagement, I do that for especially weddings because wedding photos are all emotion. The goal is to capture as much, as many, as much, as much, as many, as many, I think it's as many, to capture as many em emotions as possible so that down the line, four, five, six, ten years when they open that album, they go through, they just laugh and smile because they see those emotions and bring that memory back right away. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. If you would like, just hit the like button. Share if this is interesting to you or if you like the images uh, to let more people know. Comment below whatever thought you have, uh, any critique, any suggestion, compliment, uh, or anything like that. That would be very much appreciated. That will let me know that people are watching these videos and encourage me to make more of these videos as well. Um, also, there's a link above. Click on it. Check out the YouTube channel. This is episode number four. So what that means, there has been previous episodes that I recommend you to watch. If you like this one, you might like those as well um, and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.